Hi everybody, this is Robert Hardy coming to you once again. Thank you for joining me on my live video. I appreciate you being being here. This is the Excelio live show with Robert Harley. And I am so glad that you tune in tonight. Whether you're watching me live or you're watching me the replay, um, I'm so glad you you took you take the time to view this video. Uh, tonight we're gonna continue along the line as i said last night in last night video now we're going to continue along the line of saying how to make this year your best year yet and today we're going to focus focus on being focused um and uh we're going to take it from um take the word focus this time from a perspective of of the of the law of attraction you know according to the law of attraction uh, it says what you focus on expand and that's today's topic that's that's the title of today's topic what you focus on expand and then I have another one in, in at the on the bottom here we're going to talk about two um, uh, a little later on but before I get into all that and I get going here let me say Crystal Lynn Johnson thanks for joining me and Dave Amsworth, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you guys tuning into my live. Um, again, I would like to say those three things. One, please share the videos. Two, please um, comment on the videos. And please like the videos. Like these videos, please. I really good, I greatly appreciate your feedback. Um, also, just let me know where you're watching from, what city, what province, what state, what country you're watching from. And I greatly appreciate that. And um, hi, Dave. Oh, Dave. Oh, is there no problem? Okay, no problem. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, so just let me know all of that. And then we'll, we'll, I greatly appreciate your feedback and that uh, your feedback. Um, so let's, let's just get into it tonight, right? So tonight, they say, what I focus on, expand. So what's, what do you mean by that? When we hear that, because I'm sure if you guys have been around, this their um especially the law of attraction teaching from you know if you watch the movie like the uh the watch the movie or you read the book the secret and other law of attraction teaching from people like um you know people who was in the movie that are in the book the secret or you know people like bob proctor and all the kind of people like that if you, you listen to them or read any of their their books and stuff like that where they talk about the law of attraction they talk about that's one of the things they talk about is what you focus on will expand in your life. And so that's why they say it's so important for, for you to be focused on what it is you really want. Because what it is you what is it you really want is what you really want to focus on because that's what you want to expand in your life. A lot of people, and myself included, we tend to focus on what we don't want or what we lack in our lives. For example, we might not have a lot of money, so we focus on the fact that we don't have a lot of money. You know, we don't have a lot of money to do the things that we really want to do, like to get out of debt or to buy a new house or a new car or go on a really good vacation and stuff like that and live the life that we really want to live. But we fo instead of focus, but we tend to instead focus on the lack of money that we have, which then expand. <laughs> so it's it's kind of oxymoron type of thing because we do, we are lacking money, and yet we're focused on the lack of money instead of focusing on the abundance of money that we what we that we want or we desire. Because we want abundance of money, and so we should be focused on the abundance of money that we want. And so that so that will come into our life that we're expanding our lives. But instead, I'm not just using money as an example. This could apply in, in any area of our lives, right? But I'm just using money because money and everybody can relate to money, right? <laughs> everybody can relate to money because we all need it. No matter how much you have, y'all, you, you you know, you always need more of it. So so I'm just using this as an example, but you know, you, you can apply any areas of your life where your health is concerned, your relationship is concerned, your business or job or career is concerned. You know, we have a tendency to focus on 
what's not going right in those areas. And what happened when we focus on those things, it expands even more. Why? Because we're giving energy to it. We're giving energy to that area of our lives that we're lacking in or we're coming up short in. Instead of focusing, what is it that we would really do want? And again, going back to money, we want lots of money. So instead of focusing on the lack of money that we do maybe experiencing in our lives right now, let's focus more on the abundance of money. You see, there's no shortage of money in this universe. There's no shortage of money. There's no shortage. There's no scarcity. There's no lack, right? The, the, the thing is, is that... If you're experiencing lack in, your, in, in the areas of money in your life, it's because you're focusing on the wrong thing. You have your, your, your focus, it, you probably, fo as I said, we all do tend to do that. I know myself included, we tend to look at the lack that we are having in our lives. A lot of the fact that we don't have money, you know, we don't have money to go to buy that new car, that new house, or, or go on that vacation, or just to take time off work and, you know, live the lifestyle we want. We shall be focused on the fact that we don't have that instead of focusing on the fact that there is abundance out there. There's abundance. And so, and so that's kind of lead us to the next thing that comes up in line. It comes up, hope you guys can see this. It says, what I focus on shows up in my life. So what I focus on shows up in my life. So what are you? What are, what is showing up in your life? Again, this is a this is a way you you take inventory of what is showing up. Sometimes it's good for us to take inventory of our lives and see what's showing up in our lives and see and see where 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 what we're focusing on because. What's showing up in our lives tell us is an indicator to us that that we are all focus is maybe in the wrong area. So if you if if you don't like what is showing up in your life, again using money as, as an example, if you don't like that the fact there's an abundance of money is showing up in your life, then maybe that's an indicator to you that you maybe you're not focusing on the abundance of money, but you're focusing on the lack of money. And again, I'm speaking to myself as much as I'm speaking to anybody who's watching these live videos. We need to focus more on, on what it is we really, really want. And that's why it's so important for us to know, to define our goals and dreams and to define. You know, tonight, I was just earlier this evening, I was um, sitting down to write out some goals and some dreams that I have, especially for this coming year. And I, I realized, I, as, I, as I was going through this exercise in my own personal life, writing down things that I want to accomplish this year, I realized how important it is to be specific. Because I'm, I'm using an example, some, I use an example of someone who um, giving, giving a, an example, and they have really specific, they have really specific um, goals written down like the date and the the time <laughs> and the, the exact amount they're asking for the exact amount of money you know and they're, they're building for a house and have the, the house the size of the house how many bedrooms and washrooms and stuff like that in the house and they have been very specific so i'm trying to follow that example and i'm realizing how specific you need to be when you come to writing down your goals and your dreams, why? Because the reason why, because what you focus on expand and the more specific you can be when you're writing down your goals and your dreams, um, the more it will show up in your life because you're going to focus on that and so you expand. And this also leads to the second one. What I, what I focus on shows up in my life. And maybe you can stand on this side again. What I focus on shows up in my life. So you want to be careful what you what is it you focus on. As I said, we use money as an example, right? If we if you see what we are we are lacking in money, yes, let's shift our focus. Now, let's shift our focus from the lack of it to the abundance of money there. Okay, we come from an unlimited source. We come from a, 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 a God is a God of abundance. 
you know, he's a God of abundance. There's no lack in God. There's no shortage in God. There's no scarcity in God. <laughs> no, there's no insufficiency in God. He's a God of abundance. He's a God of more than enough. And that's our source. That's, that's the universe. If you want to call, you know, I believe in God, but if you want to call it the universe or the cosmos, if was, those of you who might not believe in God as strong as I do, but I choose to call, call the, the called or origin God. You know, so other people might want to give it a different name. But whatever name you want to give it, we come from an unlimited source, a source of abundance, a source of more than enough. And we got to focus on that instead of focus on what it, what the lack of it that we have experienced in our lives. And it's not, it's one of those things that's easier said than done, especially when you're going in the day-to-day, um, get to their life and 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 you you know you need money for this that and the other thing and <laughs> sometimes you got to budget your money and stuff like that so it's one of those things that's easy said and done but is it impossible no it's not impossible it is very much possible to fix to choose focus remember no one can control your mind and what you think about but you you don't want you don't want to choose to focus on what it is you want you you choose to focus on so if you can uh, you can just as much focus on the abundance as much as you can as the same as much as you can focus on the lack so if you choose to focus on the abundance of wealth and prosperity and and healing <laughs> for your body and soundness if you want to focus on that instead it takes it takes it takes um, discipline it takes discipline to do so. Now, I like, and I, I, I like, I like affirmation, and and I like a particular affirmation that Bob Bob Proctor comes up with, and he start all of his aff affirmation with this phrase: "I am so happy and grateful now that, bam bam black that 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 that, I am so happy and grateful." Now that now the reason why I think he he has started out that affirmation and I've adapted it to I've I repeated that a lot of time I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing measures from multiple sources on a continuous basis. Now the reason why I want to to always start your affirmation I am so happy and grateful because what it is you you you're, um. Your expression and attitude of gratitude. We know the power of gratitude. I'm not going to talk about so much about gratitude right now because our focus is on talking about focus, what you focus on. So 12 minutes in. <laughs> I'm just checking the time to see how much time I have. I'm 12 minutes in. Um, so uh, what was I saying? So, <laughs> yeah, gratitude, attitude of gratitude. So I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing measures from multiple sources on a continuous basis. Now that's that's one way of you choosing to focus on abundance rather than on the lack, right? Because there is abundance. But sometimes we it's like a natural thing for us. We always want to naturally focus on the lack that we have, the lack of money that we have. We might not have enough money to do this, that, and the other. And so we chat as a, like a natural tendency. So you have to kind of go against the grind, against the groove of your mind, your thinking, go against the, <laughs> the natural forces a natural flow of your thinking to always want to divert to the to the to the negative or to the lack and you want to train your mind in, to focus more on the positive or on the abundance that is out there for us to experience and to have and to and to take hold of because it's ours it's ours okay so you always want to start with that and i I'm, as i said i've adopted this 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 affirmation from Bob Proctor, you know, I am so happy and grateful now that I am, and again, this, this one goes, now that money comes to me in increasing measures from multiple sources on a continuous basis, but you can also say that in other areas, I am so happy and grateful now that I am in good health. I am so happy and grateful now that I have, um, 
I have a new car. I am so happy and grateful now that my business is I'm making, you know, $100,000 a month, $100,000 a month. <laughs> I didn't, they meant to say a month, but yeah, a month, why not, right? Why not a month? It's possible, right? As Bob Proctor always says, you know, you must get into the mentality or the, or the, the, um, the, uh, the paradigm shift that your, your yearly income is now your monthly income. You know, some people can't grasp that yet with their mind, in their mind, that their yearly income is now their monthly income. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, that's, that's, that's great, you know. So if you're making over a hundred thousand dollars a year right now, just imagine making over a hundred thousand dollars a month, <laughs> not a year, a month, making that your monthly income, and that's possible, possible for all of us. You know, no matter how much money you're making, it's possible that your yearly income can become your monthly income, right? With you, you know, going through some personal development and stuff like that, and you know. Um, <laughs> And not do things that make that possible. But again, we, we talk, we're talking about focus. What what I focus on expands. So if you focus on that, if you focus on your, your yearly income becoming your monthly income, you focus on that, that can expand and become a reality. Remember what in the second one says, what I focus on shows up in my life. If you focus on that, making your yearly income your monthly income, that's also going to show up in your life because again, what you focus on is what you're going to expand and what's going to show up in your life. So what is it you want to focus on? Do you want to focus on the lack or insufficiency or the sickness? Because remember, it can apply to any areas of your life, right? Or the trouble relationship, you know, or what, whatever it is, you want to focus on that? Or do you want to focus on what it is you want in all areas of your life? You want to focus on the abundance. You want to focus on the good relationship. You want to focus on your good health. You want to focus on what it is that you really want. Because that's what you want to show up in your life. That's what you want to expand in your life. So you, you choose to focus on the one, the best way to do that, again, is through affirmation. I am so happy and grateful now that, and you fill in the blank, now that I have abundance of money. And it can be, and again, when you're doing that, it must be as specific as possible. This, as specific as possible, because what do you want to do? You want to change your mindset around these things you want to change your mindset from that of 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 lack thinking to abundance thinking you want to change your mindset from sickness thinking to health thinking you want to change your mindset from a troubled relationship thinking you know the marriage marriage problems or marriage problem with your kids if you have kids or any other family members and stuff like that, yeah, relationship problem, I want to focus on the good relationship um, that, you want to ex that you want to experience in your life. Again, it's all about focus. It's all about what you're focusing on. That's all of what it comes down to. What are you choosing to focus on? And, and, and again, it's, it's a natural, it's natural human thing <laughs> it's a natural human habit for us to focus on the negative to focus on on what we see you know um instead of focusing on what is it that we really want and the abundance of what we, we we want so again we're gonna choose we're gonna choose to focus on what is it we want to expand in our lives and we want to focus on what it is we want to, what it is or do we want to have show up in our lives. So what is it you want to show up, you want to show up in your life? Focus on that. What, do you, what, is, what is it that you want to expand in your life? Focus on that. What is it that you want more of in your life? Focus on that. You know, don't focus on the lack. Don't focus on what you don't want. Don't focus on what you're ex currently experiencing. Don't focus on those things. Instead, focus on what it is you really do want. And, and that's where goal setting is, is 
will help you also. When you write down, you write, sit down, write down your goal to be as specific as possible about your goals and you focus on those things. Because again, that's what you want to come into your life. That's what you want to expand in your life. And that's what you want to experience in your life. 19, okay, so I'm gonna quit there. <laughs> it's 20 minutes almost. And then, um, I'm gonna, you know, me, I'm trying to be con time conscious of these things. Let me see what kind of comment I'm getting here. Um, oh, Marcy, Crystal Sprinkle Har <laughs> Didn't get that, Marcy. Hi, Marcy. <laughs> thank you, um, Cheeto. Cheeto, thank you. Hope I pronounced that name right. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to cut it off here, guys, because it's 20 minutes in, and I'm trying to keep these videos, um, to, you know, a time-sensitive one. So, again, let's focus on what is it we want, right? Uh, what is it we want out of life, or what is it that we want to expand in our lives? And, and, and don't forget what I said here. What I focus on, expand. What I focus on, show up in my life. Okay, and just keep those two things in mind. And when you when you when you come to focus on what is it you want in your life, what you want to show up in your life. Okay, I want to thank thank everybody for coming on and joining my live. Thank you for um, taking the time to watch. I really really appreciate it. Please like the video. Please share the video. Please leave a comment on the video. And I appreciate all of you joining me. Until tomorrow night, we're gonna continue talking about how to make this year your best year ever and talk about different topic tomorrow night so come and join me please again thanks have a good night everyone thank you very much